Full Force 2022. Hi, Brandon. Welcome to Full Force. Thank you for having me. You good? Glad to be here. Yeah. I'm as good as I can be. I uh, passed out yesterday. You passed out yesterday? Yeah, from the heat. I oh, got, oh, oh, I got, I oh, I damn. Heat stroke. So I'm chilling though. I'm alive. You're better now. Well, yeah, we'll see until the set. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, the people at the medical tent said I'm fine. So. All right, all right. They're okay, doctors. Yeah. I trust them. Yeah, there, there should be a professional to that. Exactly, all right. right? Uh, it's the last day of the tour from a Euro tour. How was it so far? It was sick. Yeah, like all the fests were, the fests were cool. Um, like bigger than I think. Yeah. I mean, we've played, we've played a couple of these fests before, um, but usually like the ones that we do are, they're not like Hellfest and stuff. Yeah. So today at Full Force, it's like the crowds are insane. I'm like, we're not used to this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a good, you yeah, know, cool opportunity to like expose people to the band for sure. Yeah, especially Hellfest as his huge stages. Yeah, there was like we someone said something like we uh, when we played a show in like somewhere else in France the yeah. next day like someone was just stoked that we played Hellfest. All like, right, it's like that big. They're like, oh my god, you played that, and I'm like, yeah. What do you mean yesterday? <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They paid us. We came. What do you want? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So you just released your new song Unravering Frau yep. of yep. the coming album your eulogy for those that's still here. Mm -hmm. I hope that's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. it. All right, that's all right. perfect. So how was the reception of the new song? Like weirdly good. Weirdly good. Like, yeah, like I mean, I know people like you know we have our fans and people like us yeah. and stuff, but that was crazy. Like seeing the reaction and like, yeah. pe like people do like reaction videos, so you can like watch them react to a song in full time. <laughs> and I was like watching those. That's the like, thing now. Yeah, reaction it's, video, it's a thing. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, but it's cool, you know. Like yeah, watching sure. them, like they're like head banging and they're like, wait, what? And like rewinding it, it's. Yeah, the re like the response. It's been like the biggest one for yeah. sure. Like sure. out of anything, uh, like any other single that we've ever yeah. put out. Yeah, so. sure. All right. Sick. Yeah, I'm right. stoked. I hope people like the rest of the record that much. So wh why we're talking about the eulogy for those that's still here? Uh, what can we expect from it? <laughs> it sounds like counterparts. You know counterparts what I mean? Like counter. there's not. Yeah, there's not. At this point, like it's that's like album what seven for us. It's yeah. Like we're not. We know we know what we should sound like. You know what I mean? Like we're not like, there's like a little bit more stuff sprinkled in there, but it's not enough to like, we're not changing anything. To being very experimental or stuff. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We're like bread and butter the counterparts. Ex sound exactly. Like you expect. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's very, uh, there's, we're the least experimental band. I think yeah. we just do the same thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're talking about you said seven hours from until uh, with I the new one with the, uh, you think okay there's too many there there are two infamous ones I would say it's yep. uh, the Köln with carry us yep. and the difference between hell and here and yep. you are very active on Twitter with your shenanigans oh, yeah. and stuff yep. and I just r read some some tweets in the past about you say right so many people are saying the current recarriers or the difference between yep, you know, yep. are so important for them and just say ah i don't know it's like the first albums yeah I yeah totally i mean hell and home to this day i'll take it yeah like still still good i mean we were still young for sure sure um current is like like there's there's songs on that album there's like five good songs yeah on the record um it should have been an ep but yeah it's just like When I go back and listen to it, I'm just like, ugh. I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm glad that yeah. uh, I'm glad that there are people that are like, sure. no, I love yeah. it. This is amazing. But I'm like, yeah, but I'm gonna goof on it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, it's. I I honestly think it sucks. Um, but if other people don't, it's like, well, cool. They still like something that I did, so I'm stoked. I mean, it's it's not it's 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 not wrong to reflect on yourself and your in your art to say yeah. maybe I yeah, don't, totally. that's the best. But if people enjoy it why not I, I saw you guys in, in smaller venues and I, I think the the current recarriers are the most songs where the people are just with you screaming the disconnect yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. That, that's yeah. always the, the there's a song where the crowd anticipates or participates the most yeah exactly and uh, yep. sure why not why yeah. not when well, we're talking about your Twitter shenanigans you're also uh, doing a little bit of tongue in cheek with all your fans on tours of course, yeah Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, either on counterpart side or on end side yeah, I mean or, you, yeah. you, you just toured with ends earlier this year yeah and yep. stuff yep. so um, do you want to contribute to that because it got most of the time the, especially the Euro fans don't get yep. your humor, humor yeah and that's like that, that's the thing it's like I I feel like if they are a fan of the, of the band yeah. like, they're they're like oh he's just doing his fucking yeah, thing yeah yeah But yeah sure like what we notice at these festivals is like you know something like we're playing to like 
uh, 5,000 plus people that yeah. have have never heard us before, ever, have no idea who yeah. we are. And then I'm up there and I'm like, yo, you're pissing me off. Like, you're fucking boring. I hate <laughs> you guys. Like, doing that shit. And they just they see it <laughs> yeah, and they're like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, this guy, this guy's the worst. Like, why is this guy so rude? And then our actual fans are like, yeah, he's kidding around. And, like, that's the thing. It's like, I, I am... I am messing around. Yeah. It's like, it's funny to me, but obviously like if I, if I didn't have fun playing shows, like of course, I would of course. just quit. I just quit. I just stay home. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like sure. it's not, it's not like we're making yeah. such great money that I could never leave this job. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? But um, yeah. yeah, that's why I like, like I was tweeting about this the other day. Cause so, like somebody asked like a friend of mine working at a fest, like, is he like, is he actually mean like whatever? And they're like, no, he's <laughs> kidding. And they're like, Oh, Oh, he's just joking around. I'm like, Oh, okay. now I get and it. Like, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I, I can't imagine yeah. like, yeah. I can't imagine like anyone ever like being that rude. It's like, that's why I do it. Cause yeah. it's like, I don't mean it. You know what I mean? But, I mean, you even tweeted out that uh, at some fest, of some uh, festival at this tour, the people shouted the name of your cat, Kuma. Yeah, and, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that made that me, that made me cry. Really emotional. Yeah. So it's, I think it's obvious that you are joking most of the time. Yeah, but, of course, right? But, but yeah. people are so uh, emotional, connected to you and yeah, for music. sure. It's yeah, like they, they know the people yeah. that like the band. They know. Yeah, they know. Sure. I'm like I literally call them like dumb motherfuckers. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like nonstop for the whole set. Yeah, and yeah, then sure. afterwards, they still come and buy a shirt, and yeah. it's like that's the, that's what I think yeah. is funny about it. You that's, know. I think that's that's the best the best way to to communicate. It's, it, it, even being the whole time like like fucking stoic and uh, I'm, I'm doing my music and I'm just yeah right? so artsy. Just take me seriously. Yes, yeah, so so dumb. I mean, like dumb? it works, but like I could never. Yeah, because I'm not like I just I just make yeah. little jokes all day sure, and sure. like I just fuck yeah. around and I try to have fun. So it's like I want to do. I want to be the same person on stage and off. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, you know. So. So while talking about your Twitter shenanigans, you are also a big fan of K-pop. Oh yeah, and 100%. What is the fest? Uh, because I had a really big K-pop face myself. Really? Sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's the fascination about K-pop for you? I think, so I mean, it, like it's the catchiness for sure. Yeah. Like that's 100%. Like that's the main driving factor. Um, I really like, I mean, I've always, like, I've always been a fan of like pop music in yeah. general. Um, and I think I really like how transparent k-pop is you know what i mean like like yeah. people like yeah most of the time like they're not right like someone else writes their songs you know what i mean and like all right yeah yeah like i know they, what you got yeah and like they don't yeah. know you know they're they're like no no like we just sing good and dance and be cute and that's, that's it. it like i don't care like i don't have any like real emotional attachment to this it's most entertainment of the time. most of the time exactly and i i just like yeah sure i like how you know other than like pop you know, like uh, North American, like pop stuff where it's like, oh, they come up with some crazy backstory and they're like, oh, you know. Trying to be authentic and stuff. Yeah, and I'm just like, I don't care. Yeah, like, yeah, as long sure. as it sounds good, I don't give a shit what you did. That's, you that's know actually I mean? funny. It's, it's the same fascination for me for K-pop. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly yeah, like yeah. this. There you go. And uh, I, I really had a big, big uh, black pink face in my yep. time. And uh, uh, I don't know if you know KDA. I have a, a black pink uh, oh, awesome. wallet from my phone awesome, case. Awesome, awesome. Sick. If you know, you know KDA, that's that like the K-pop band for League of Legends. Yes, League of Legends. Yep. I just, I just tore this this EP up for yep. it because I loved it so much. It's, it was great yeah. stuff they did, and yeah, that's the same thing for me with fashion. Yeah, we. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was uh, like, so I live with our old uh, our old guitar player, yeah. Adrian. We have like k-pop stuff like like framed nice. like twice thing in the house yeah. our yeah. friend came nice. over and we were just like listening to twice and he was like oh it reminds me of like the league of legends thing and he like when he played it and then we looked it up and it's like oh because twice is singing on a bunch of them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly, so I'm like, exactly okay it makes sense that was but, yeah nice 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 yeah so you said uh, of course the the stuff you do on on touring and doing music with counterparts and and the stuff you really enjoy and makes you happy yeah. Was there anything besides that you want to do with your time, maybe? Uh, I don't know. It's like, like I always have like ideas of, yeah. stuff, of like of stuff that I can do. Yeah. Maybe like you know when both bands are done or whatever. But it's like, I don't know. It's also really hard to like start from square one yeah, for sure. me. It's like, you know, I have uh, I have pretty bad ADD, so it's like yeah, getting yeah. me to do anything of takes course forever. But um. Yeah, I mean, I think like I think doing something like in comedy could be cool. 
or like writing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even if it's, you know, I don't want to do stand up. Like I would hate that. <laughs> um, but sure. you know, like writing yeah. shows or something like behind the scenes, but, uh, scene writer, script writer like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But like, totally. I, it's not like not my world at all. So like, yeah. I don't know if I want to like go and try, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I'd love yeah. if someone, if like one day someone's just like, you write for this show now. And I'd be like, great. Fantastic. Love it. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Is there any show you would love to write for? I would love to do stuff for I Think You Should Leave. Oh, yeah. The Tim Robinson show. I think, yeah. like, that's so, like, my humor. Yeah. Like, I would love to just, like, be in a room with them when they're all writing. Right. It'd yeah, be so right. funny. But. So, last question of what we talked about is silliness yeah. and maybe a bit tongue in cheek, but there's always these. Uh, more more bitter questions in hardcore like yep. uh, s small and big venues so we you're playing festivals yeah. you're playing club shows what do you prefer most I I mean I think I like club shows more um, but I mean we've you know like really it kind of just depends on the crowd for me yeah like that's right. you know I, I would take like playing in a hundred cap like i'd play in this room right now like if, if everyone was gonna go <laughs> crazy show is like yeah, yeah as opposed to like playing to ten thousand people and everyone stands there and they're just yeah. like you know so yeah. really it depends on the crowd i, I talked with uh see you space cowboy yesterday yep. and uh connie said yeah basement shows all over he said and then i said the, like the like the the office meme with the stage with just some pallets over yeah, the top yeah for sure like, like this is my that, favorite venue that's, yeah. that's my favorite venue like yep. this yeah yep. yeah I, of course There is like a charm about it <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. I definitely like I think I I think I prefer like a mid level like maybe like 1000 cap venue. Yeah. That's cuz it's you know, it's a good mix of both. Best of both you worlds, I mean? of course. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. There still be like doors on the bathroom stalls and <laughs> but it's still tight like tightly yeah, packed yeah. enough to have fun. All right. So, Brandon, yeah. thank you so, like much, so much so much for your time. No problem. Thank you for having have me. Have a great day at Phil Force and uh, I hope to see best. you again. I hope I mean I'm I think I've sweat like 15 pounds off in this yeah. interview, but You need some shirts. We got some shirts with us. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take anything, honestly. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>